Hey, I'm the Wolfman, and I'm here in Niagara Falls, Ontario, Canada, at one of the great wonders of the world. This is the Niagara Glen. This area, although just a gorge, was formed millions and millions of years ago, before Niagara Falls even existed. At some point through history, the, the Niagara River has scraped and scraped and scraped and made this gorge today. It is filled with biodiversity, endangered species, and all sorts of great things that we're going to go have a look at today. Even before entering the trailhead at the Niagara Gorge, we come to a really neat piece of history that most hikers will just walk by when we're down here. I'm talking about the carved Indian face, and it's fairly high off the forest floor, so we're going to climb on up, have a closer look. I'm standing right now in a part of the Niagara Gorge which is steeped in history. This area once was a staircase in the late 1800s and if you look up here over my shoulder you're going to see a Native American head carving right in the rock of the Niagara Gorge. Now there's been all sorts of rumors as to how that's actually got here but the Niagara Parks Commission has informed me that how this got here was that during its construction in the 1800s when they put the staircase in one of the workers who was really good at carving rock simply carved it up there. Everywhere I go in this gorge, even heading down to the Niagara River, you see absolutely amazing scenery. Right now, in fact, I'm actually passing through a huge chunk of boulders. Look at the size of those things. They are everywhere down here. Left over from the last ice age, these boulders and rocks have broken off from above above and have fallen down. Imagine how that must have been if you were here when one of those boulders the size of a house ended up actually falling down crashing down right beside you. Everywhere around me there's a huge boulder field. This boulder field has arrived several different ways. The first way that it arrived was during the Ice Age, as the ice receded from this area about 11,000 years ago. Huge chunks of rock like the one behind me were deposited. The other way of course is from the escarpment up above, big huge boulders rolled down here. But look at this, look at the shape of this rock. It almost looks almost mushroom shaped. That's because when this rock was deposited here, there was still all kinds of massive torrents of water spinning and churning around. And what they've actually done is eaten away at this piece of rock to make it the shape that it is today.
look at the amazing beauty all around us here. This is the mighty Niagara River, one of the greatest flowing rivers on the planet. This river is actually downstream from Niagara Falls. It flows over the falls, goes into power generation, and comes out right down here. Unfortunately, every year, careless people end up in the river, and usually there's a couple of deaths, but it's a magnificent place to see. Now look at this hole. This is what we call a glacier pothole. About 11,000 years ago, when the water started to warm up, like the river behind me, it would have turned and churned in circles and circles, and a little pebble or a rock at some point got loose and got buried in here. As the water moved across, it would have gone round and round and literally burrowed into this hole. This is a really fascinating piece of prehistoric history that was in this area left behind today. If you look at this rock, you'll notice that it's actually two different colors. Down here, it's a little lighter, and up here, it's a little bit darker. The reason is, is where I'm actually standing, I would normally be almost completely underwater, right up to about chest level. The Niagara Parks Commission and Ontario Power Generation controls the flow of the Niagara River. And right now, the time that I'm down here in this gorge, it's actually a low flow time. The good part about this is once the river is a little bit lower, you can actually find all kinds of artifacts like this right here. This is a small piece of pottery, and there's no telling how old it is because the Native Americans, First Nations people have been living here for thousands and thousands of years, or it could be from the 1800s during the Civil War era. Who knows when it was here? But it's really cool when this is actually a low water level because you never know what you're gonna find. I hope you've enjoyed this trip into the Niagara Gorge. This area is absolutely stunningly beautiful no matter how many times I come and visit it. And remember that there's all sorts of biodiversity here, including threatened species of salamanders, turtles, all sorts of things like that. So I appreciate you watching. I'm the Wolfman. Please consider subscribing. Look at the fishies. There's fishies down here.